Welcome to Fanfiction Audiobook. Super Power, Start on the Throne. Chapter 1. Qin Feng never thought that one day he could become the emperor. And it is not an ancient emperor, but a modern emperor. The memories in his mind and the unfamiliar environment all show that he has really crossed. He crossed to this planet named Bilan Xing and became the 26th emperor named De Gangguo. Today is the day when he became the emperor. According to memory, the predecessor replaced by me has the same name and surname as me, and even looks, height, voice, and birth time are exactly the same. That's right, Qin Feng is not wearing a soul, but wearing it. As for Taken Feng, that was replaced by himself, the system didn't know where it was sent, and he came here, and he forced Taken Feng. Qin Feng's memory was instilled into his mind. In short, he is now the Qin Feng of this world, the 26th emperor of the great empire who is about to ascend the throne. System, describe your function in detail. Qin Feng said silently in his mind. Immediately, lines of font description appeared in the field of vision. Superpower system. This system is dedicated to helping the host create the most powerful country. The system functions are, observation and exchange. Observation, it can observe the detailed situation of the country and each country. Exchange, national points can be exchanged for all items in the system mall. Country points, corresponding points will be issued according to the country's development, national happiness, and support. The introduction of the system is very simple and clear, and can be understood at a glance. Qin Feng immediately said silently in his heart, System, watch the situation in your country. Information of the major countries. National system, hereditary monarchy. The current emperor, Qin Feng. Official language, Chinese. Continent, Shenzhou. National climate, multi-monsoon climate. Land area, 18.6612 million square kilometers. National population, 3.331 billion. National capital, Ghana. Domestic GDP, 819.909 billion kianyuan. GDP per capita, 1,325 kianyuan. National happiness, C. National science and technology, E+. Military power, D. Comprehensive national strength, second class small country. Country points, zero. The above is the comprehensive information of the major cadres. And each piece of information has a detailed introduction, such as national happiness, which refers to the personal assets, personal lives and living environment of the people of the major countries, as well as the medical level, public security, welfare, and infrastructure of the major countries. Derived. The letter behind, and the minus sign, represent the current level of national happiness index. From low to high, there are nine ratings F, E, D, C, B, A, S, SS, SSS, and each rating, except for those above SS, is subdivided into three smaller ratings. Take the F rating for example, the lowest is F, the middle is F, the higher is F+, and the higher is E. In other words, the National Happiness Index, National Science and Technology, and Military Strength of the Great Cadres are almost lower than middle, or inferior to upper, but the National Happiness Index is C, which is in the same level as the Great Empire. It's a pretty good index. This is also attributed to the long history of the Dagon country, and the perseverance and optimistic genetic blood flowing in the bones of the Dagon people. Of course, it cannot be erased from the two emperors of Qin Feng's grandfather and father, who are dedicated to the development of the national economy. Then there is the comprehensive national power. The comprehensive national power is not graded by letters, but directly presented in the form of words. According to my memory, there are many countries in Azure Blue Star, and the levels between countries are quite distinct. From low to high, seven countries are rated as weak, small, developed, 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 and superpower. In addition to the highest superpower, each rating is subdivided into 1, 2 and 3, with the first class being the highest and the third class being the lowest. Another thing to say is that there is no correlation between the rating of countries and the size of the country on the blue star. No matter how small your country is, strong is strong, and no matter how big your country is, weak is weak. The comparison is the comprehensive national power. For example, a major country with a land area of 18.66 million square kilometers. What is this concept? 
It is twice the size of the Earth's Yanwang Empire. First of all, the blue star is different from the Earth. The surface area of the blue star is 10 or 20 times that of the Earth, and the population is almost 10 times that of the Earth. Qin Feng didn't calculate the specific value. It only needs to know that there are many people. Although the area of the blue star is so much larger than that of the Earth, there are also more countries. There are thousands of countries distributed in various regions of the world, so 18.66 million square kilometers is also the fifth country in terms of land area on the blue star. At the beginning of the nation's founding hundreds of years ago, the country's land area was even larger, and it is now the world's largest country, but unfortunately with the mediocrity of the next emperor, the arrogance of the superiors at the dawn of the industrial age being arrogant and not allowing any industry to develop at all leading the major cadres to fall and fall from the world's first superpower at first, and their area is also invaded again and again. Until now, not only is the land area ranked fifth in the world, but the national power is even more terrible. People use supersonic jet fighters, aircraft carriers, ballistic scuds, intercontinental scuds and other super-lethal weapons. The most important countries are propeller planes and rifles. There is no comparability at all. Fortunately, the first two emperors, that is, the 24th and 25th Dagon emperors awakened in time and began to vigorously develop under the aggression of the powers. Only then did they barely keep the Dagon country from disappearing into the long river of history. It's a pity that the previous two terms were too short, and they didn't come up with one at all, so it ended. Then, now such a big mess is left to Qin Feng. It looks like a big mess, and it is indeed a big mess, but Qin Feng is not at all frustrated. Not to mention that there is a system, just say that he has the successful experience of the previous Earth Yanwang Empire in his mind, and he has the confidence to revive Dagon. As a member of the Yanwang Empire in his previous life, the rapid development of the Yanwang Empire in just a few decades can be regarded as the eighth wonder of the world in any country in the world. From the very beginning, I couldn't even see the ranking of GDP, and I dared to bully everything from the very beginning. When Qin Feng crossed, it was already the second largest economy and the second largest military country on the planet. With such a miraculous object as a reference and system assistance, Qin Feng couldn't think of a reason why it could not be strong. I stroked the memory in my mind, and just then the secretary's voice sounded outside the door, reminding myself that the enthronement ceremony was about to begin. He straightened his clothes in front of the mirror and looked at the handsome and young face in the mirror, Qin Feng showed a confident smile. I, Qin Feng, starting today, be the emperor. The current location of Qin Feng is Dagon Palace. That's right, it's in the palace. It's just that this imperial palace is different from that of the forbidden city on the earth, because the great kingdom has continued from ancient times to modern times hundreds of years ago, so this imperial palace has also been renovated all the time. Today, although the exterior of the palace is still antique, the interior has all been modernized. There are everything that should be in the modern era, and there are also what is not, and it will not affect normal life in the slightest. In addition, the Dagon Palace has already become a spiritual symbol of the Dagon people. As long as the emperor lives in it, it will be very helpful for the consolidation of the country. After finishing his clothes, he opened the luxurious door and walked out. At the door, several assistants and secretaries were already waiting here. As soon as Qin Feng came out, he said, take me to the hall. They are all modern. Even if they are still the emperor, they are still in this country, and they are still the supremacy of imperial power but they no longer claim to be me, and there is no need to wear ancient dragon robes. Everything is in line with modernization. Perhaps the only thing that is not in line is that all this is the emperor's. The emperor is also the supreme existence. The so-called hall is the Dagon Hall arranged in the imperial palace. It has a considerable area and is mainly used for annual meetings and important events. For example, the new emperor ascended the throne, which was held here, and the usual meetings with those first grade ministers were in the Palace of Political Affairs. Came to the door of Dagon Hall, but didn't go in. Because the ceremony has not officially started yet. At this time, the hall was already full of people, and all the first rank and second rank ministers who worked hard came, as well as representatives from all walks of life, and so on. All foreign reporters arrived, and the entire hall was flooded with flashing lights. 
At this moment, the person who is presiding over the meeting on the podium is an official from the Ministry of Etiquette, a first grade official from a leading country. The Dagon country was actually partly similar to the ancient Ming dynasty in the Yanwang Empire. For example, officials are of the first to ninth grade, and there are still points for correct follow up. In the Ming dynasty, there were three provinces and six ministries, while the leading officials had two provinces and nine ministries. The two provinces are the Central Ministry of Education and the Central Province, with the same pronunciation, but the former is for internal affairs and the latter is for the military, and they are irrelevant. The nine departments are the Ministry of Officials, the Ministry of Households, the Ministry of Finance, the Ministry of Industry, the Ministry of Rights, the Ministry of Criminal Affairs, the Ministry of Law, the Ministry of Law, and the Ministry of Commerce. The promotion of officials in charge of the official department, the household registration and marriage and divorce, as well as land and the like are managed by the household department. Needless to say, the Ministry of Finance is in charge of finances, as well as domestic banks. The Ministry of Industry is the domestic infrastructure, and the Ministry of Etiquette is the school, film and television, culture, and diplomacy. The Ministry of Criminal Affairs is responsible for arresting fast and managing the public security of the chief executives. As the name suggests, the Ministry of Justice is the court. The last legal department and the commercial department, needless to say, manage the business. The legal department is not the law of law, but the law of discipline. What's the purpose? It's to monitor the problems of leading officials. That's what it means. The enthronement ceremony will officially begin soon. After the ceremony was finished, Qin Feng walked in from the front door under thunderous applause and countless flashing lights. From the entrance of the hall to the podium, there are red carpets. The two red carpets are people from all sides. They waved their hands under their genuine, perfunctory, worried, calm, or excited gaze walked all the way to the podium. Even if the national power of the great leaders is frighteningly weak, the imperial power has long been ingrained in the souls of the great leaders. Even if some people are worried about the future of the great leaders because Qin Feng is too young, no one will go. Questioned whether Qin Feng, the only son of the imperial family, is qualified to become the emperor. Standing in front of the microphone on the podium, underneath was a large swath of people, young or old, still standing and applauding, enduring unfailingly. In addition, countless reporters took photos and recorded images to fully record the historical scene of the new emperor's ascension to the throne, for fear that one might be missed. Standing in front of the podium for more than a minute, when Qin Feng raised his hand for the fifth time to signal everyone to sit down, the applause gradually stopped. Soon, the hall fell into silence, and everyone's eyes were on Qin Feng. Faced with so many people, faced with so many cameras, it is definitely a lie to say that you are not nervous. Fortunately, Qin Feng's character belongs to the kind where the more nervous the heart, but the calmer the performance. With a gentle smile on his face, he finally speaks for the first time. First of all, everyone is welcome to come to my enthronement ceremony. On behalf of the individual, I would like to extend my welcome and on behalf of the great cadres, I would like to welcome the arrival of foreign journalists. On the table of the podium, there were more than a dozen A4 papers. This was a speech prepared by the secretariat for him, but Qin Feng just took a few casual glances and put it down. Because the content in this speech is all lackluster things, and the main continuation is the previous emperor, that is, his father's philosophy. In fact, it's no wonder the secretariat, mainly because the previous emperor went too abruptly. His ascension to the throne started in a hurry. The secretariat didn't know its philosophy of governing the country at all, so it came up with such an old-fashioned speech. It is also understandable. Putting down the A4 paper and scanning the audience, he suddenly said something astonishing and threw a bomb directly, I have been working hard since ancient times. The miscellaneous tax rate oppresses the people so much that they don't want to live. But since I enthroned, all agricultural taxes will be permanently exempted, so that the people will live better, and the people will no longer have such a heavy burden in their lives. Quote. In the major countries, the agricultural tax is quite high, as high as 28% of the agricultural tax. For a long time, the imperial family of the Dagon kingdom has always been very good to the people, although many of the emperors in the middle have been relatively mediocre, causing the national power to plummet. 
In this way, the people did not rise to the ground, and the last term and the last emperor have successively reduced some agricultural taxes, up to 28% today. To know, before that, the agricultural tax was even higher. And 28%, it has already made the big cadres very satisfied, so it can be imagined that Qin Feng has just taken the throne but suddenly and permanently abolished all agricultural taxes, and how much it has brought to all the big cadres who watched the live broadcast. Shock and ecstasy. Looking at the hall again, the ministers suddenly changed color one by one. Qin Feng suddenly started to exempt all agricultural taxes permanently. This is definitely something no one expected. But, this is the benefit from the emperor. The emperor, at least the emperor of the great kingdoms, has always said nothing, even if he has not discussed with these ministers in advance, but since Qin Feng has already said it, it is obviously impossible to change. But, permanent exemption of agricultural tax. Those who are already so poor that they can't get rid of the pot, without the agricultural tax of this heavy income, wouldn't they soon be bankrupt? This new emperor, what the hell are you doing? All the ministers looked ugly, and their eyes were full of worries. Worried for this foolish new emperor. Worried about the new emperor, who is already in danger, has ushered in such a messy new emperor. In short, the lively hall just now was trapped in an extremely solemn atmosphere. It's extremely quiet. Looking at the discolored faces below and feeling the solemn and hesitant atmosphere in the hall, Qin Feng smiled faintly. Before saying this, he had anticipated this situation, and even thought about more serious situations. Now it is a little better than I expected, at least everyone is still calm. As for the permanent exemption of agricultural taxes, do you need to say more about this? Since ancient times, which country has made a fortune by collecting agricultural taxes? Don't talk about these countries and history of the blue star, just talk about the earth's scorching yellow people. Among the ancient dynasties of the Yan and Huang people, the Song dynasty was the richest. Why? Because the Song dynasty did not inhibit commercial development, and commercial taxes far surpassed agriculture, the Song dynasty became the richest dynasty in the ancient Yan and Huang dynasties. Looking at other dynasties, which emphasized agriculture and suppressed business, which one made a fortune. Besides, the modern Yanwang empire exempts agricultural taxes directly, but the Yanwang Empire is one of the richest countries in the world. It has become the second largest economy in the world. Therefore, agricultural taxes will never be the basis for making a country prosperous. Exemption of agricultural taxes will not only make the people of Dakin a better life, but also the recognition of the Dagon imperial family and the Dagon emperor will reach an unprecedented level in history. New High. Now Qin Feng is learning from the successful experience of the Yanwang Empire. No matter how these ministers object to it, exempting agricultural taxes is bound to happen. Although there are still many national policies to learn from, the current situation is obviously only one step at a time. Exempting agricultural taxes is already a big deal, and other things will come slowly. Ignoring the shock of the ministers at the scene, Qin Feng's follow-up speech was obviously normal after throwing out the national policy of the permanent agricultural tax exemption. But even so, these ministers squeezed a sweat in their hearts, for fear that the new emperor would make a moth. Now a single agricultural tax is enough to make everyone feel distraught, and they don't know what to do. The enthronement ceremony was basically over after Qin Feng delivered his speech. After all, it is modern, unlike ancient times and there were so many ceremonies. And Qin Feng, from this moment, officially became the 26th emperor of Dagon. After the enthronement ceremony was over, Qin Feng immediately convened the first cabinet meeting since he was enthroned after having a sumptuous lunch with a group of ministers who did not know what to eat. The cabinet of the chief executive is composed of all the ministers from the first grade and the first grade, that is, all the ministers of the two provinces and nine departments. Naturally, the meeting place will not be in the hall anymore, but in the hall of parliament. In the huge conference hall, there is a huge Wanghuli mahogany conference table in the middle. All the cabinet members are sitting in their respective positions, but no one speaks, their expressions are heavier than one. When Qin Feng walked in, everyone stood up and shouted in unison, I have seen your majesty. Although there are not so many red tapes like in ancient times, the title of Emperor Dagon has not changed, and he is called, your majesty. 
With a gentle smile on his face, Qin Feng pressed his hand to everyone, motioned everyone to sit down, and then he sat on the main seat. On both sides, there are eleven cabinet members, and they are also the core components of the Dagon Empire. These people are not young anymore, the oldest is more than seventy, and the youngest is more than fifty. As soon as he sat down, the left minister, the prime minister of the Chinese Academy of Sciences, Jia Fengqing took the lead and said with a heavy expression, Your Majesty, there is one thing about the minister, which is the permanent exemption of agricultural tax that Your Majesty said at the enthronement ceremony. Something wrong. Since ancient times, agricultural taxes have been an extremely important part of the revenue of the national treasury. Now that the national treasury is empty, without this agricultural tax filling, I am afraid that major problems will soon arise. Quote. Shui Xinjuang, Shangshu from the Ministry of Finance, also said with a wry smile, No, now the treasury only has less than 200 billion kianyuan, and it will last until the end of the year at most, and it must be at the end of the year without developing any projects. The salaries of the leading officials are no longer paid. At present, the international currency on Bilan Star is the Eagle Yuan. The Eagle Dollar is the only currency sold by the Eagle Country, the only superpower of the Blue Star, and it has the same status as the US Dollar on the Earth. The currency of the Great Kingdom is Qianyuan, but Qianyuan is very valuable, and the exchange ratio with Yingyuan is 1, 1, and even the value of Qianyuan is even higher, and the detailed exchange ratio with Yingyuan is about 1.02. That is to say, 1 yuan kian yuan can be exchanged for 1 yuan and 2 fen ying yuan. So 200 billion kian yuan. In fact, it's not too small. But, it depends on which country it is in. In those countries with a small area and a small population, the 200 billion kian yuan is indeed very, very, very much. However, the area of the major country has reached 18.66 million square kilometers, with a population of 3.331 billion. With a large population and large area, there will naturally be more cities. With such a large land area and so many cities, even if the infrastructure of major cadres is stale today, it still requires a considerable amount of expenditure to maintain. 200 billion kianyuan, as the Minister of Finance said, it would be very good to be able to persist until the end of the year. However, since the decision of the permanent agricultural tax exemption has been made, Qin Feng certainly has his own certainty, waved his hand, and calmly said, I have decided on the permanent agricultural tax exemption, so I don't need to mention it again. Looking at the bitter melon faces on both sides, Qin Feng said lightly, throughout the past and present, have you seen any country that has collected agricultural taxes and made a fortune? The agricultural tax has nothing to do with the fact that it can barely maintain the operation of a country, but all of this has been accumulated on the people of my great health, which has caused them a great burden on their lives. Therefore, if our major country wants to truly usher in a revival, the agricultural tax must not be considered again. Quote. After a pause, he looked at Shangshu from the Ministry of Finance and said in a deep voice, Starting from today, we will fully open up big business. Anyone who wants to go into business must provide sufficient support. This meeting is just to set the tone for the development of major cadres in the future, and detailed developments. I will issue a charter in the follow-up. And you, you must also give me a survey and charter in the shortest possible time. The main directions are commercial development, industrial development, and banking development. Give me a detailed report. As long as it is the direction you are responsible for, including the details of the military, I need a detailed report. After the meeting, immediately proceed to do these things, in addition. The Book of Etiquette. Quote. Shangshu of the Ministry of Rights responded quickly, the minister is here. Immediately let the Department of Foreign Affairs go to negotiate with other countries, negotiate international commercial interoperability, investment, and implement it immediately. Seeing what the Book of Rights opened his mouth to say, Qin Feng interrupted him with a direct wave of his hand, and said in a very strong tone, I don't need you to ask any questions. I only need you to execute them now. Are there any problems? Yes. No problem. What else can the Book of Etiquette say? She gave a wry smile and nodded in response. Well, that's all for today's meeting. Now it's a waste of time, everything is simple, everything is expedited, and the meeting is adjourned. 
After speaking, Qin Feng got up and left, leaving only a group of ministers who were blindfolded. Look at me and I will look at you. It is true that this meeting went too fast, and Qin Feng was too strong, so he didn't discuss anything with you at all, and directly issued a decree. Without giving them a chance to make suggestions or questions, they arranged all this and left the meeting immediately after speaking. But in any case, and regardless of whether these decrees are really good or not, at least the series of decrees issued by Qin Feng fully demonstrate that the new emperor should have a good mind and know how to lead a major country to go forward. So from this point of view, many people are temporarily relieved. Only. Develop business on a large scale. From the beginning of the nation's founding to the present, the great cadres have never attached importance to commerce. Can this commerce really save the great cadres from danger? No one knows. At this moment, Qin Feng, who left the meeting room, hurriedly browsed the system mall. In fact, there are reasons why Qin Feng is so strong. I know from memory that even the predecessor didn't have many contacts with these ministers, and he didn't know much about these ministers. Needless to say, Qin Feng, so in order to avoid a long delay before it can be implemented, Qin Feng decided to directly order them how to do it in the most powerful way. This is also attributable to the great cadres, the emperor said that he had no difference, and he had enough power to do so. As for understanding, in the future, we will gradually understand it. The primary goal now is to determine the future development direction of the major cadres. At present, the major cadres are in danger, and the agricultural tax has been abolished. If you don't start to change immediately, then everything will really be over. Sizhang Hall, this is the study room of every emperor. Still the same sentence, although the exterior of the Sizhang Palace looks no different from the ancient palace, it is completely modern inside. The huge yellow pear wood desk, top of the line top secret computers, two top secret phones in black and red, a large bookshelf, and then some top secret documents on the table, a cup of hot and fragrant tea, a few pens filled with ink, and blank paper. It's just that Qin Feng didn't start processing these files immediately, but opened the system. Today, the global live broadcast is on the throne, and the agricultural tax is forever exempted, and the national points are coming in a rush. These points are undoubtedly all from the support of the people of the great people. This agricultural tax directly adds a full 800,000 points to Qin Feng. Even the national happiness level, which originally only had C, was changed to AC level because of this decree. It can be seen how many people's surprise and support this benevolent government has aroused. With points, of course, the system mall was opened for the first time. In Qin Feng's field of vision, a virtual picture that only he could see immediately appeared, with a dazzling array of everything. From weapons and equipment, to civilian supplies, to high-tech technology and so on. I can see that Qin Feng is drooling down 3,000 feet. J-10, J-20 fighter. There are even F-22 fighter technical drawings. There are also nuclear-powered aircraft carriers. And nuclear-powered submarines, etc., etc. Of course, these are all technical drawings, instead of getting them out of thin air. You need to exchange the drawings before you make them. But these things, Qin Feng just took a look, and did not intend to exchange it let alone the high points required for exchange, even if it can be exchanged, and there are extremely detailed technical drawings, according to the current level of science and technology industry in the major countries, it is tantamount to wanting to create these things. Speaking of the level of technology, the development of the technology level on the blue star is about the same as the technology level of the earth, which is roughly equivalent to the level of the earth in 2017-2018. It's just that the industrial development of the major cadres is too backward, let alone the development of science and technology, so all of this has to be done step by step, and there is no rush. 800,000 points, there are already a lot of things that can be exchanged. It took nearly an hour to pick and choose, and I collected everything I wanted to exchange, but didn't choose to exchange it immediately. Because I am not very familiar with the specific situation of the executives, and the points are relatively small at present, the exchanged items must be things that are urgently needed by the executives and can solve the situation of the executives. Suddenly, the study door was knocked lightly, and immediately heard the secretary's melodious voice, Your Majesty, the scholars have gathered all the information to me, do I need to bring it in for you now? 
They are all modern, so the address is not an ancient adult, but just directly address his position. These people move pretty fast. Chin Feng chuckled. It seemed that his previous strength still had some effect, and immediately said, take them all in. Soon, the heavy study door was pushed open, and the dignified and beautiful secretary in a lady's suit walked in with a pile of sealed craft paper, and then put it on the desk respectfully and walked out. Chin Feng spread out these craft papers one by one. These craft papers are covered with the SSS Top Secret Seal, which is the top secret document of Dagon. The opening is also sealed with wax to prevent anyone from peeking. Chin Feng first took the document submitted by Jia Fengqing. In this document from the Ministry of Education, the main situation of the current major countries is recorded in detail. This is something that must be learned as soon as possible. Tear opened the seal, took out the files inside, took a sip of the unknown tea with endless aftertastes, leaned on the spacious and comfortable office chair behind him, and began to watch carefully. Looking at the content inside, Chin Feng's sword eyebrows were sometimes tight and sometimes stretched. After carefully reading the documents of the central province of China, he immediately picked up the documents of the central province and continued to watch. He saw the documents of the central province that belonged to the military. Chin Feng's brows have never been stretched. The situation of the leading military was worse than he had imagined. It took two or three hours to read all the files, and Chin Feng was left with a wry smile on his face. The situation of the major cadres is really too bad, and it is really difficult to develop. Let me talk about the domestic situation first. Dagon domestically, it perfectly interprets what is called a hundred waste waiting to be revived. This is not a commendation. This sentence is used in the great countries, which means. What a great country wants is nothing, nothing is necessary. Industry. Have. The military industry has many production lines for guns and things like grenades. More high-end, Ding Tian is mortars and rockets, and rockets are not the kind of large, high-tech ones. It is the kind that only has a maximum caliber of 122, and is purely covered by a large amount. Of course, this is not impossible, but the caliber is too small and the production volume can't keep up at all. If you really fight, you may be blinded after dozens of rounds. As for the armor, airplane, missile, these are but it is not produced at all, because the industrial level cannot be produced at all, and they are all bought. Every year half of the military expenditures of major cadres are used to purchase these things. Let alone how much money was spent, let's just talk about what they bought. They are all products that are eliminated by the slightly stronger countries, while the stronger countries have eliminated several generations of products. The armor is a clumsy first generation tank with a total of 178 vehicles. The plane is a propeller fighter, the kind that cannot be loaded with missiles, and the fighting can only rely on the kind of airborne cannon. There are, but very few missiles, so few that someone might invade, and there will be no one in a few rounds. This is the current strength of the leading military. However, although it is very weak and weak, there are so many people. Tens of millions of troops are distributed in various regions, even if the equipment is very backward, but with so much military power, it is really not anyone who says that he can fight. In addition, more troops can be invested at any time, and the number of fighters is sufficient. This is the real reason why the real deterrence of all parties and the protection of major powers has not been completely eliminated until now. But even so, the current major cadres are not at a peaceful stage either. Moreover, they are still at war with people. That's right. Major cadres are currently at war with certain countries. This is what really makes Chin Feng solemn. In addition to military industry, civilian industry is also terrible. It is to make bicycles and tricycles. The highest technological process is the tractor. Cell phone. Computer. Ha! Huh, you seem to be making an international joke with me. The most fundamental reason for this phenomenon is the reason why the major cadres have long emphasized agriculture and suppressed business and despised merchants. In short, it is very similar to the ancient dynasties of Yan and Huang. Even with the efforts of the first two emperors, this situation has improved a lot, but there are still too few business people. Quite a lot of talents have been exposed abroad. It is not that they really want to go, but that they are not useful at all in China. Except for industry, infrastructure construction can't be said. People are all high-rise buildings. 
Ten-story small buildings are used as the city center. The supply of water and electricity is very difficult. It is a rare good thing to stop electricity only once a day. Two or three power outages are quite normal. The public security environment is extremely poor, and various black gangs are rampant, bullying men and women, and there are many trappers who are in trouble with these people. It can be said that there is almost no welfare for the people who are very dry, and many people even eat this meal without having a meal. Chin Feng calculated that even if the agricultural tax is permanently exempted, there are still many people who can't eat enough. The first is that there is no land for them to grow, the second is that the agricultural tax was too high before, and the third is that the yield of the crops grown is too poor. All in all, really want nothing, everything has to be fully developed. Rubbing his forehead, closed his eyes, and planned in his mind how the major country should develop in the future, and how to save the successful experience of the earth. I don't know how long it took, Chin Feng suddenly opened his eyes, took a sip of tea, picked up the pen, and started to write. Write down the main developments of the major country in detail, and at the same time, consider whether the experience of the earth's flames and yellows is applicable to the major people. After all, they are two completely different worlds and countries. Those that are not applicable have to be changed, one time. Tuck tuck tuck, I don't know how long I have been busy, but the door of the study was knocked lightly, awakening Chin Feng at work. Putting down the pen and looking at the outline of the development plan just finished, he stretched his waist unsatisfactorily. In fact, the content of the development plan is not much, but every plan involves all aspects of the future of the major country, and affects the future of the people of the major country and the future of the major country. Therefore, Chin Feng has to consider every decision for a long time. For a long time, treat it with the most solemnity. So it took him several hours for such a little content, looking out the window, the sky was completely dark at this moment. Your Majesty, it's time for you to rest, and it's time for dinner. Outside the door, the secretary's sweet voice came. Chin Feng looked up at the luxurious quartz clock on the wall and said, Okay, bring dinner to the study. No, go to the Yijiang Hall to prepare a table of dishes, and then call all the cabinet members for dinner. Okay your majesty, I'll do it right away. Then the secretary's footsteps hurried away. Chin Feng looked at the plan and confirmed that there were no omissions, and then nodded in satisfaction. Although the meeting has just finished at noon, logically, the meeting should be held tomorrow. It's just that Chin Feng greatly overestimated the status quo of the major cadres. According to the current status of the major cadres, it is really impossible to slack off for a moment, otherwise the building will fall. Time does not wait for me. I can't take care of that much. There was still some time, so I reopened the system mall and started directly redeeming the necessities urgently needed by the major countries. There is no need to consider high-tech technology and high-tech industry. The industrial foundation cannot be developed now. Therefore, those who can be temporarily excluded, Qin Feng first exchanged it, the earth Yanwang made countless people no longer hungry back then, and created the cornerstone of the Yanwang legend. Hybrid Rice Technology There is no hybrid rice technology on Bilan Star, because there is no old man on this planet who has been able to canonize his life. And the food grown in those big countries and developed countries all use a large amount of chemical fertilizers and genetically modified foods. It does not mean that chemical fertilizers are born and eaten with genetically modified foods, but it is purely silly to have hybrid rice technology that does not require it. Hybrid rice plus harmless fertilizers, isn't it fragrant? And a hybrid rice technology cost a full 500,000 points, but Chin Feng felt it was too worthwhile. 500,000 points, in exchange for countless people no longer hungry, in exchange for laying a foundation for 10,000 years, this transaction is too worthwhile. The remaining 300,000 points will not be redeemed for the time being. It will be fine to redeem them when needed. I don't have to be in a hurry for a while. At the moment when the hybrid rice technology was successfully exchanged, a text reminder appeared again. The hybrid rice technology has been released. This technology is carried by Professor Jing Boxian and his team from Chainan Botanical University. Any technology that the host exchanges in the mall will be issued in this way. Seeing the two system prompts in front of him, Qin Feng's eyes lit up. He was worried that this technology would be directly given to himself. 
Not to mention that this technology will arouse suspicion after giving it to me. I just say that as the emperor of a country, his main responsibility is to lead the country to prosperity, and where is there time to do research work? Not to mention these technologies out of thin air, once or twice as fine, three or four times countless times, and each time the technology comes out is still in a different field. All fools know there is a problem. Anyway, this form is most satisfactory to Qin Feng. The hybrid rice technology is done, and the time is almost there. Immediately took the documents on the table and left the study. As soon as the door opened, the secretary was already waiting at the door, and quickly reached out to take the file in Qin Feng's hand, and then respectfully said, Your Majesty, the eleven cabinet members are already on the way to the palace. Are you going to the conference hall now? Quote. Well, let's go first. After that, the secretary and several assistants followed one after another, while six personal guards in black suits and white headsets were scattered around for close protection. They were not worried about being in danger in the palace, but avoid being disturbed by people in the palace to Qin Feng. In short, full of style. Back to Yu Zhengzhen, another conference table in Yu Zhengzheng was temporarily used as a huge dining table. The delicacies and delicacies were served on the table. The colors, fragrances, and flavors were delicious, and it was full of appetite. No matter how poor the major countries are now, as an emperor, life must be as luxurious as ever. Qin Feng did not intend to play any tricks of frugality. How much can he spend as an emperor on enjoying life? How much can we save again? Not long after Qin Feng sat down on the main seat, the eleven cabinet members hurriedly came again and with a sound of, your majesty, they sat in their seats with a full face of doubt. Thinking, what's the matter with this new emperor? The meeting was just over at noon, so why did you call them over again at night? Everyone was puzzled and waited for Qin Feng to speak. Seeing that everyone was there, Qin Feng smiled and asked first, have you all eaten? The right minister of the central province, Wu Shansheng, who is now in charge of the military affairs of the Dagon Empire, replied with a hearty smile, I am about to eat, so I was called by your majesty. The other cabinet members also all smiled and shook their heads, saying that they hadn't eaten yet. Just kidding, they are super old foxes, looking at this table of delicious food, even if they have eaten them, they must say they haven't eaten them. How else? Oh, have you eaten? I, the emperor, is so busy that I haven't eaten yet, but you, a courtier, ate first. What does this make the emperor think? In fact, at this moment, these people have put away their underestimation of Qin Feng, and no longer dare to despise Qin Feng at all because of Qin Feng's young age. Because by now they have all recovered. That's right. The permanent agricultural tax exemption has indeed brought a great and enormous burden to the leaders whose income mainly depends on the agricultural tax. At the beginning, they were still immersed in the worries about how the leaders would face this predicament, and did not think much about other things. But, when the people below them reported, the most direct phenomenon caused by this decree of Qin Feng is that all the people of the entire major country now regard Qin Feng as a benevolent king for the country and the people. This wave of operations alone immediately reaped the hearts and minds of the people of the whole country, because at least 90% of the people in the country are now agricultural farmers. As a result, the new emperor Qin Feng ascended to the throne has been supported by all the people, and no one has made any inappropriate remarks. This emperor's position is only because of this eternal tax exemption decree instantly as stable as Mount Tai. Based on this alone, no one dared to underestimate the young emperor who was only 18 years old, so everyone was puzzled about Qin Feng calling them so late, but no one dared to say anything. He he, haven't eaten yet. Qin Feng chuckled. All ministers are my great ministers. The pressure is great, but the body is more important. That's right, since I haven't eaten them, let's eat some together. In addition, everyone is great. If there is anything you want to say or ask about the future development, just ask, speak freely. Qin Feng greeted, and took the lead in picking up the chopsticks. Come on, move the chopsticks. The others just laughed, and only after Qin Feng moved the first chopsticks, they picked up the chopsticks and started eating. They can understand it. Your majesty is planning to discuss state affairs while eating. In that case, they are no longer polite. It is true that the current big work urgently needs a clear development direction, especially after the exemption of agricultural tax. 
Thinking of this, Jia Fengqing first took a bite of the dish, then put down his chopsticks and looked in the direction of Qin Feng. The old face was full of serious questions. Your Majesty, the minister is actually still the issue of the permanent exemption of agricultural tax. Seeing that Qin Feng didn't interrupt himself, Jia Fengqing considered it for a moment, and then continued, In fact, Your Majesty, your permanent agricultural tax exemption and all-round open business are understandable. These developed countries do it. We have worked hard, and we have actually started to develop business since the first emperor, but the effect is not so ideal. Therefore, the minister would like to ask your majesty, how should we promote this business to the people in the future, or should we directly open a business in the name of a chief executive? Quote. What Jia Fengqing said about setting up a business in the name of a big leader is easy to understand. In ancient times, it meant imperial merchants, but now it means state-owned enterprises. Qin Feng didn't even want to shook his head and said, state-owned enterprises must naturally have, but the development of private commerce is the main task of the future economy. Qin Feng also stopped his chopsticks, and faced these eleven pairs of eyes, and talked freely, state-owned enterprises must be separated from private businesses. The industries that state-owned enterprises are involved in are mainly strategic. For example, the business of resources and minerals must be kept in the hands of the chief executives, and private development and sales are never allowed. The promotion of private commerce is actually very simple. Quote. He turned his attention to Shui Xinjuang, Shangshu from the Ministry of Finance. We are a big country with only one bank, or we can't call it a bank, we can only call it a bank. Because Dagan Bank actually only has deposit and withdrawal functions, not to mention those financial investments, not even the business of lending, which I firmly cannot accept. Quote. Shui Xinjuang opened his mouth, but finally sighed without speaking. Qin Feng said, I know what you are thinking, and I can understand it. After all, it has only been a few decades for us to move closer to a modern country, and the time is too short. But what I want to say is that starting today, Dagan Bank must take the lead in the development and promotion of Dagan's business. First of all, people across the country are strongly encouraged to deposit their remaining money in banks, and banks must also give a certain amount of deposit interest as an attraction to attract people to save money. After the deposit is received, various commercial investments including but not limited to the stock market and futures market will be launched immediately. I know that there is definitely a risk. We also lack a large number of financial talents. It's okay. We will immediately start recruiting, digging, and recruiting those who are living abroad to recruit and return to the motherland in all legal ways. Treatment and solicitation from the emotional aspect. Finally, open the lending business to the private sector, and the interest rate on lending should not be too high. I will not talk about who can lend to the bank and let the bank do its own risk prevention and control. Quote. Speaking of this, Qin Feng paused and raised an index finger. This is the first and most important step to promote business development. If you don't have talents, just hire them. In short, you will do everything you can to give them. I have done all of the major banks' business, and everything is in line with the banking industry of those developed countries. Can't you learn if you don't understand? If you don't understand, let those who understand it. Therefore, I decided that starting from today, the banking industry will be separated directly by itself. It is far from enough to have only one major bank. Several more state-owned banks should be established to form a healthy relationship with each other. After all, there is competition to make progress. Quote. After hearing this, Shui Xinjuang nodded immediately and said, Okay, your majesty, I will go back and handle this immediately. Qin Feng nodded with satisfaction, and then looked away Xirin, the official book of the Ministry of Rights, Shirin, your task is also quite heavy, and it is also about our future revival plan. Wei Shirin hurriedly sat down, waiting for Qin Feng's instructions. Qin Feng is actually quite satisfied with the attitude of Wei Shirin and the other ten cabinets. There is no fight for power, maybe, but it is definitely not serious. There is no contradiction between Yang and Yin, and there is no need to intrigue and play infighting by yourself, which saves Qin Feng a lot of worry. The reason these cabinet members would cooperate so well is that they have to say that their grandfather and father are two emperors. 
In fact, in Qin Feng's view, the greatest achievement of the two of them is not to start developing the industry and commerce of the great empire, because nothing has been developed. The greatest achievement was that during their tenure, they had cleaned up all those who were obstructing development in order to develop industry and commerce. When they were in power, they killed a river of blood and returned tracts of narrow-eyed people to the elderly. In the township, the treacherous ministers were beheaded for their disobedience. So, this is also the reason why there was not much development in industry and commerce when the two of them were in office, because they both went to kill and remove obstacles. When it was Qin Feng's turn, there were almost no insurgents and thieves who dared to oppose the royal family anymore. Qin Feng was tantamount to picking up a big bargain, so although his decree of permanent agricultural tax exemption caused headaches for all cabinet members, there was absolutely no one. Dare to speak out the reason for opposition. There are no people or forces that hinder them, and the miraculous experience of the Yanwang Empire in the previous life can be copied, and there is a system of gold finger. Renaissance is an inevitable result. The day when the great leaders will come to the world will surely come. In the development of business, self-production and sales are fundamental, but if you really want to make money, you have to export it. Otherwise, if you make it yourself and sell it to your own people, it's not much different from pouring your left pocket into your right pocket. Qin Feng's voice echoed throughout the conference room, so if we want to make us and the people truly prosperous, the correct way is to earn foreigners' money. In this way, diplomacy is particularly important. Qin Feng's voice became low and deep, but as far as I know, our major countries have not yet determined the real diplomacy, nor have they really focused on diplomacy. What is diplomacy? At a lower level, diplomacy can enable as Dagan communicates with the outside world. On a larger scale, diplomacy is about the development of a country. The diplomacy between this country is actually the same as being a human being. For example, if a person is not well connected, if you encounter a problem, no one will help you. But a person's popularity is very good. If you die, you don't need to speak, and they will help you. Therefore, the importance of this diplomacy is self-evident. As the saying goes, there are more ways to help but less help. Diplomacy will also be the top priority of the leaders in the future. Quote. After speaking in one breath, he suddenly seemed to think of something, and added, of course, there is another saying that weak countries have no diplomacy. We are undoubtedly weak now, but commercial diplomacy is always possible. Let's set a tone today. The Department of Foreign Affairs of the Ministry of Etiquette and the Ministry of Commerce should try their best to establish commercial interoperability with all over the world, and carry out commercial cooperation in all aspects, so that our products can be sold abroad. Earn money abroad. Quote. After that, these cabinet members nodded one after another, and while nodding their heads, they recorded Qin Feng's words one by one in their notebooks. But Sun Ming Li, the chief secretary of the Ministry of Commerce, scratched his head and couldn't help but said, Your Majesty, we understand what you said. But, but what can we do to export? Hearing this, everyone looked up at Qin Feng again. Qin Feng smiled faintly and said, In fact, we can sell a lot of things. Yes, our industry is indeed quite backward, but, including the superpower Eagle Country, all the things that cannot be used are high-tech products, right? Can we produce clothes? Are these shoes and hats okay? Glasses and porcelain are all okay, right? As long as we have good quality, low prices, high quality and low price, are we afraid that no one will buy it? Moreover, this is still a fairly large market, but it is the first step for us to promote commercialization in an all-round way. Quote. After hearing Qin Feng's words, a group of people were busy again bowing their heads and starting to record on a small notebook. The expressions were completely different from the beginning. Qin Feng's words kept saying, the first step for these knowledgeable private businesses, although the tax provided to Dagan in this regard will not be small, but it is obviously not enough to support Dagan's rapid development and achieve corner overtaking. Qin Feng said in a deep voice, then sell the resources. From the detailed data provided by the Ministry of Industry and Technology, we can see that we are extremely rich in resources. It's just that, the vast majority of these resources are exploited in the hands of large foreign powers. It is firmly intolerable. Everyone's expressions changed. Jia Fengqing quickly said, Your Majesty, these resources. The big executives also get dividends. 
That but the most important thing is that these resources were sold to those foreign forces that year. Qin Feng suddenly turned his head, his eyes became cold and cold. Yeah, there are dividends, one component is red. What is this, you tell me? Ah. Qin Feng's unspeakable anger, resources are resources on our own territory. As a result, they were sold to foreign consortia and large families at an extremely low price for some small profits. We can only get 10% of the dividend every year, 10%. Tell me, how is this different from the territories we were robbed of back then? Qin Feng's tone was cold and frosty, we can't afford to provoke those countries. Could it be that we can't afford to provoke those consortia even if we are a big country? Big family. I don't care what method you use, whether it's a strategy or a direct one. It doesn't matter if you use force, in a word, within half a month, I must see all the blood sucking from our blood sucking out of us. We develop our own mineral resources. We will develop all oil resources and natural gas resources by ourselves. In addition to domestic sales and strategic reserves, the excess is sold for money. Quote. After speaking in a cold tone, he took a deep breath, as if he was calming down his inner suffocation. I don't know what you think, and I don't bother to ask when you made the deal with these resources and those forces, you played a role in it. What kind of role and what benefits have been gained? I can forget all these. However, now that I, Qin Feng, is the emperor of Dagon, then I have to be worthy of this throne, worthy of the people of the world. So, half a month, at most half a month, all those resources must be recovered for me. Needless to say about this matter, if you were really unsure at that time, I will directly dispatch the army to take it back, but when that time comes, he he, it's not going to be forgotten. Quote. There is no fish when the water is clear. No matter how the two emperors killed a river of blood, it was obviously impossible to really put an end to some things. At most, no one would dare to covet the Qin's throne, and no one would dare to disobey the Qin clan at will. Okay. Well said. It should have been so long ago. As soon as Qin Feng's voice fell, he suddenly slapped his hands on the table and shouted loudly. However, this man is tall and burly, and he is wearing the only military uniform among the people present. It is the Prime Minister of Zhangshu Province and the Iron-Faced General Wu Shansheng who is known as the Right Minister. Wu Shansheng's face full of fleshy face can be described as radiant at this moment, waving his right hand, and said in a generous and powerful tone, Your Majesty's words are in my heart. The resources we have done, why let those people come? Mining. And it only divides us into red. No, why should they distribute our dividends? This is our resource. The blood-sucking worms have long been unhappy, and the resources we have done this time must be recovered. Quote. After listening to Wu Shansheng's words, everyone could only respond with a wry smile. Actually, Qin Feng really wronged them, they really didn't profit from it. However, these words don't need to be said, since your majesty said half a month, then half a month is fine. Although there is bound to be a lot of trouble, your majesty has clearly made up his mind to die, so go ahead and do it well. Besides, those blood-sucking worms have indeed sucked too much blood over the years, and it is time to get rid of them. If these blood-sucking worms are not eliminated, how can you be reborn? The Ministry of Etiquette, the school must develop as much as possible, at least so that most people can read books. And the criminal ministry, it's time to clean up the black sheep in the criminal ministry. Also give you half a month to the criminal department. Within half a month, I don't want to see embarrassing arrests, nor do I want to see gangs appear. The arrest should not stay in the house and wait for the incident, but always go outside to inspect. To what extent? It is to do the people, no matter when you go out, during the day, or Ling Chen at 2 or 3 o'clock. Never allow any issues that threaten the safety of the people. The Ministry of Law, and the Ministry of Penalty, act at the same time to remove the black sheep who are caught fast, and the black sheep above the black sheep. The Ministry of Law, the death penalty cannot be abolished, and severe sentences cannot be mitigated. However, it must be fair and open. This is a requirement for your Ministry of Law. You should refer to the laws of those developed countries and combine them with the laws of the Great Army. Law to be enforced. The Ministry of Industry immediately set up a research department across the country to vigorously recruit talents. The recruited talents are all given preferential treatment, 
and the salary, food and accommodation are all arranged with the best. Well, I heard that the name of the Chinan City Botanical School the professor named Jing Boxian has made a great breakthrough in the study of food production. You can go to let people understand. As for the central province, Qin Feng finally turned his gaze to Wu Shansheng from the right. Wu Shansheng widened his bull's eyes, as if he was expecting something. Qin Feng said in a deep voice, Now Dakian is indeed too poor, but no matter how poor, the army will not be poor. The military is the cornerstone for our rejuvenation, so starting from today, the military expenditures occupied 10% of Dagan's total income. In the future, it will be improved as needed, but I guarantee that the minimum is 10%. Quote. Wu Shansheng was so excited that he almost jumped up, grinning almost to the root of his ears. Your Majesty, rest assured, with these military expenses, we can buy more high-end weapons, and even research and produce more powerful weapons and equipment by ourselves. Our great fighters are not ischemic, what we lack is those high-tech equipment. Otherwise, how can we not even beat the country of macaques? Quote. Speaking of the end, Wu Shansheng has already gritted his teeth, murderous. That's right. Nowadays, it is the macaque country that is at war with Dagon. The area of the macaque country is very small and its military strength is far less than that of Dagon. However, the area of the army is too large, and the finances can only support tens of millions of soldiers at most. But these tens of millions of fighters have to be distributed in all directions and regions of the major countries, because the relations with other countries are not so friendly. It's not that Dagon doesn't want to be friendly, but those countries have been coveting Dagon since ancient times. Of course, they dare not move at all in the past, but the Dagon who is now at stake is nothing less than a piece of fat in their eyes. Everyone wants to take a bite. Therefore, there are only one million leading soldiers at war with the macaque country, which seems to be quite a lot, but it is a pity that the equipment is backward and there are not many macaques, but there is still one million military strength. The equipment levels are similar, so that both sides are in a stalemate. You beat me today, and I beat you tomorrow, so the stalemate came down. Qin Feng nodded lightly, without giving too much promise. It's not that I don't want to give it. How do you say that sentence? Fighting is fighting money and resources. As soon as the artillery sounded, gold was tens of thousands. This sentence fully explained that a large amount of money and resources are needed to support a war. According to Dagon's current economic situation, it would be good to be able to stalemate. If you can, try to stalemate first. When the Dagon gets rich, all those enemies will be reported. Qin Feng has laid out the general direction of the work one by one. Follow-up needs to be supplemented and then slowly supplement. If you can't be fat in one bite, you have to take it step by step. Dot dot dot. The dinner was over, and it was already more than 12 o'clock in the evening. The ministers all left the palace, Qin Feng also returned to his residence. Zhenshan Temple. As the name suggests, the emperor lived in it, meaning to suppress the world. The interior is still the same all modernized, and all modern facilities are readily available. Soaked in a hot bath comfortably and washed the tiredness of the day. Although today's decree is still relatively rough, it is not under Qin Feng's control, but is a matter for the ministers. Can't he be an emperor who will do everything in his own hands, so what else do you need ministers to do? He controls the direction of the ancient giant ship, Dagon, and the direction is right, so just leave the rest to the people below. At the same time, Qin Feng was right. His decree was issued, but the people who were really busy had to be the people below. As the saying goes, the sentence above, the broken leg is running below, this sentence is correct. It was a little closer to midnight, and the ministers who returned to their respective residences were still not sleepy, and no matter how late it was now, they directly asked their assistants to summon all of their subordinates. One is that the time of the decree issued by your majesty is too tight, and the other is that they are more excited than the other at the moment, and they can't sleep at all. Because from these decrees of your majesty, they seem to have seen the great leaders heading for a prosperous future under the leadership of your majesty, and as one of the founders of this historical turning point, they are bound to be left in history. Then, at one o'clock in the morning, De Gangwo is located at Gandu. The ministers of the second and third grades, whether they were asleep or not, were awakened by a secret phone call, and then rushed to the conference rooms one by one in their respective cars. 
Cars, convoys, and engines awakened the silence of the night, and bunches of headlights illuminated the dim night. The night became busy in an instant, and the lion of Dagangwo, which had been sleeping for a hundred years, also quietly opened its eyes. Perhaps, the moment it wakes up completely, the world will tremble because of it. Chainan City is a city located in the south of Dagon. The land here is fertile and rich in products, and it has been known as the land of fish and rice since ancient times. Therefore, Dagon has always been a relatively affluent city, and Dagon's famous botanical university is also located in this city. At this time, in the crop fields of a small county in Chainan City, Professor Jing Boxian, who is usually not very talkative, got into the study with all his heart. Today, he is very interested in speaking. No, in other words, Professor Jing Boxian has been in a state of excitement since the new emperor ascended the throne yesterday, and the smile on his face has never broken. No matter who you see, as long as you know them, you don't care if you are not familiar with them, you have to talk a few words while pulling the other person. There is only one content of the chat, especially the opening sentence. The farmers working on the farms in the nearby crops have been able to memorize them thoroughly. The first sentence of Professor Jing Boxian must be. Have you heard? His Majesty Renwang Chin Feng has exempted all agricultural taxes forever. A good day for our people is coming. Not only does this sentence remain unchanged, even the tone remains high. Regardless of whether anyone answered the call, he would start balabala bala talking about Chin Feng's permanent exemption of agricultural tax, and what a great contribution it is for the people to meet such a worldly benevolent emperor who is dedicated to the people. What a thing worth praising. Fortunately, he is not alone in singing a one-man show. Professor Jing Boxian can be so excited, let alone farmers who are closely related to their vital interests. No matter how stable the old people are, they will burst into tears because of this decree. It is really after hundreds of years. An extremely heavy burden on the people. Just say so. According to the previous 28% agricultural tax, it is equivalent to a year of hard work for you. For example, if you collect a thousand caddies of grain, then you will have to collect 280 caddies. If you make a thousand yuan, then you have to give Dagon 280 yuan. This is definitely a major burden, but now. Gone. No need to pay a penny anymore. This is not worthy of joy, what is worthy of joy? This is not the emperor, what is the emperor? It's just a matter of giving a merit card to pay homage every day. For the honest people, they don't want much, enough food and clothing, and the emperor's heart is enough. No, Professor Jing Boxian, who is thin, dark-skinned, and wrinkled on his face, held a cigarette between his yellowed index finger and middle finger, smoking a cigarette while spitting, and continued to chant loudly. In this image of him, if he were not wearing a pair of black-framed highly myopic glasses, no one would really think of him as a scholar or a university professor. It's a pity that the farmers around here have heard him talk about this many times, and he himself didn't have much interest in showing off with these people. Just when he was full of the power of the wild, he suddenly felt a little the child ran towards this side barefoot. After a closer look, there were a few suits and shoes behind him, and he looked like a big man. Grandpa Jing, Grandpa Jing, these uncles are here to find you. The child ran here with a few people, and the innocent and crisp child voice spread throughout the field. The peasants who work in agriculture looked up curiously when they heard the words, but they didn't seem to be surprised. Don't look at them getting along so well with Jing Boxian, it's because Professor Ren Jing Boxian is approachable and without the slightest arrogance. But it doesn't mean that they really don't know Jing Boxian's identity. They all know that Jing Boxian is a university scholar and scientist at the University of Botany. They say that they are now cultivating a large area of land. It is the latest research result of Jing Boxian. It is said that the yield of this piece of rice is at least more than 600 caddies per mu, which is more than double the output of rice they planted before. Now that I know the identity of Jing Boxian, and there are many people who usually come to Jing Boxian, it is not surprising that these few strangers who look like big shots come. Jing Boxian naturally found these people, but he knew them. One of them was Cao Chong from Farmer Cao in Chainan City, and the other was the president of the University of Botany. He didn't know a few others. He was curious, what did they come to find themselves for? Is it possible to come to inspect your own research results? 
With curiosity, I walked up from the field. Before the president of the Botanical University arrived, his hearty voice came first. Bo Xi'an, why did you go down to work in the field yourself again? Ha ha, let me introduce you, Lu Chong Sao won't introduce you to him. This one is the director of our department of agriculture. What about this one? He he, a member of our leading cadre department, they are all coming to you. Quote. Jing Bo shook hands with these people quickly, and his curiosity became more intense. And the person from the Ministry of Engineering didn't talk nonsense. He smiled and shook Jing Bo's rough hand, and went straight to the subject, Professor Jing, this time we are here. We are here by your majesty's order. Please have the full authority to preside over the, hybrid rice, that you are studying. Your majesty has said that hybrid rice is a great power for thousands of years. Your majesty and the whole country will fully support Professor Jing to research and promote hybrid rice with all your strength so as to solve the famine of my Dagon as quickly as possible. Quote. Jing Bo was stunned first. He never thought that his own affairs would be known to his majesty. Your majesty. You, are you sure it's the order of your majesty himself? Jing Bo was so excited that his hands trembled. For him, who has been engaged in agricultural research all his life, the permanent exemption of agricultural tax for his majesty after taking office has completely become his most steadfast supporter. Now I suddenly heard that His Majesty, who was in his mind, knew about himself and his own research, and personally ordered him to take over, promote, and completely solve the famine of the people. This is definitely the most he has heard in his life. Message of joy. Can this be fake? Ha ha, that is, modern. This is going to be abandoning ancient times, but it is a fake imperial edict, I dare not. This person made a little joke, and immediately said with a serious expression, Professor Jing Boxian, on behalf of the Ministry of Industry, I invite you to be an agricultural scientist in the Ministry of Industry. Mainly responsible for the research and promotion of hybrid rice, and you can rest assured, your majesty said that when you treat talents, you must give the best treatment, and you must give it if there is no treatment to create treatment. So, as long as you come, not only every month. Before he finished speaking, Professor Jing Boxian waved his hand to interrupt, no need to say this, I agree. Of course I agree. Please go back and tell your majesty, I will use my life's energy to complete your majesty's instructions. Let me work hard to solve the famine problem completely, so that there will be no hungry people in Dagon. Quote. Professor Jing Boxian's voice is generous and powerful, with an indomitable momentum. At this moment, the morning sun shone on his old but firm face, as if a saint had passed away. Compared with the cheerfulness of Jing Boxian, the atmosphere in other places is not so friendly. The left minister of the Chinese Academy of Sciences and the dignified minister of the first grade Jia Fengqing personally led the team, accompanied by the four major ministers of the household department, the Ministry of Finance, the Ministry of Industry, and the Ministry of Commerce. A total of five people led their teams to the five major countries. The largest mining area discovered and controlled by those consortium forces. Jia Fengqing is currently going to Ningchang City. Ningchang City is most famous for the oil that is designated as the world's third largest oil field, with oil reserves of 12.6 billion tons. The international barrel standard is about 92.5 billion barrels of crude oil. Reserves. Due to technical reasons, the current daily output is about 800,000 barrels. It has been mined for a total of 23 years. Up to today, roughly 6.7 billion barrels of crude oil have been produced, and there are currently 85.8 billion barrels of reserves remaining. With such high oil reserves, it is ridiculous that the development rights of this third oil field in the world located in Dagon's country are not in the hands of the major cadres themselves, but in the hands of a super consortium in the Robin state. The big cadres can only get a small dividend from this big consortium every year, which is simply a big joke. And how much are these 6.7 billion barrels of crude oil taken away by that big consortium worth? According to the current international crude oil price, it is 50 eagle yuan a barrel. 6.7 billion multiplied by 50 is 335 billion eagle yuan. A full 335 billion eagle yuan. Converted into Kian Yuan, it is also 335 billion. This is not a blood-sucking worm and what is it? The Ningchang oilfield alone has sucked 335 billion of Dagon's blood, 
and the other four major mining areas have lost nearly one trillion in the past few decades. Trillions of Qianyuan can feed many people who are suffering from famine. How many weapons and equipment can be deployed to the leading soldiers? At least playing macaque country is the same as playing. More than 10 minutes later, in Ningcheng Oilfield, Carson, the head of the Philo Consortium in Ningcheng Oilfield, roared incredulously, No. You can't do this. We, Philo, paid out a whole billion for you. Every year, we will distribute it to you. 30 million eagle dollars will give you a lot of work, you can't do this. 10 billion, 30 million a year. Jia Fengqing's majestic face was covered with a sneer, and he said in a harsh tone, Mr. Carson, please listen carefully. We are not here to discuss with you now, but to give you a direct notice. Do not. To put it harshly, I came here directly to give you orders. For seven days or the like, you must leave the Ningcheng oil field. This is what Our Majesty meant, and it was also what we meant to do the cabinet. Quote. No. You are treachery. You have violated the spirit of the contract. You can't do this. Carson looked angry. Ningcheng oil field. It was a contract signed 23 years ago with the Emperor Qianyu who worked hard 23 years ago. You can't say let us go, just let us go without any reason. Emperor Qianyu is the 23rd emperor of the Dagon Kingdom, the former emperor, and the great-grandfather of Qin Feng. The 24th and 25th emperors reigned for 7 and 9 years respectively, and their reigns were very short. These five resources were sold to these consortia and forces by Qin Feng's great-grandfather. Jia Fengqing ignored Carson's anger at all, turned his head and said to the criminal minister next to him, for these seven days, you will be here to watch. They will not be allowed to step into this oil field again within seven days. Although Qin Feng set half a month, Jia Fengqing certainly cannot follow that time. Seven days is the deadline. The minister of justice immediately nodded and said, don't worry, I promise to complete the task. Immediately with a big wave, the dozens of catchers who came together quickly stared at Carson and others. In Dagon's country, it is impossible to use the army to drive these people out, and it is much more than enough to catch them quickly. Carson's lungs were about to explode. He took out his cell phone and shouted with scarlet eyes, I want to call your majesty. I want to tell your majesty in person. I want to ask him personally. Whether you are a major country, you really cannot abide by the spirit of the contract. You can tear up the contract at will. Jia Fengqing stretched out his hand and said lightly, please. Carson, who was frustrated, immediately dialed the Dagon Palace Foreign Affairs line, which is of course not known to most people, but Carson from the Philo Consortium must have known it. Dot dot dot. Qin Feng just got up at this moment, and is doing a morning jog in the palace. Only with a good body can you have enough energy to deal with all kinds of things. Wearing a loose-fitting sportswear and a pair of custom-made running shoes without a brand, the sun is warm and the birds and flowers in the palace are scented. There are six personal guards who accompany Qin Feng to run. These guards will follow wherever Qin Feng goes. They are the most loyal fighters. They can block bullets for Qin Feng and serve Qin Feng at any time. A guardian who sacrificed his life. While running, a guard next to him listened to the sound in the headset, and immediately said to Qin Feng without blushing and breathing, Your Majesty, Secretary Zhang said that the Foreign Affairs Department has received a call from you. It's Philo. Carson from the consortium asked if you want to pick it up. Qin Feng slowly stopped, took the towel from a guard next to him to wipe the sweat from his forehead, and took another sip of the electrolyte water from another guard. After thinking about it, he said, Take it. Quote. Soon, the secretary trot to bring a special mobile phone over. Putting the phone to his ear, Qin Feng said lightly, I am Qin Feng. On the other end of the phone, Carson's voice was clearly suppressed, His Majesty Emperor Dagon, I'm Carson, the person in charge of the Philo Consortium in a major country. I took the liberty to call you this time. There is one thing that I feel very incomprehensible and angry. Qin Feng smiled faintly, Oh. What makes Mr. Carson so angry? Your Majesty, Emperor Dagon, I believe you also know that our fellow consortium made an agreement with your country's Emperor Qianyu 23 years ago to develop the Ningcheng oil field. In the past 23 years, our fellow and your country's the cooperation is also very friendly. Carson said, but, 
Just now, your country's first tier minister suddenly came to us and said that we must evacuate the Ningchang oil field within seven days and we are not allowed to further exploit the Ningchang oil field, otherwise they will be expelled directly by force. God, this is not in conformity with the contract and international agreement at all. What's more, we also paid a full 1 billion eagle dollars to your country, and we will also give your country 30 million eagle dollars in dividends every year. How can we suddenly say that we won't mind if we don't mind? This incident made me very angry, and the first grade minister also said that your majesty meant what you meant, so I called to ask your majesty, is this really what you meant? Quote. What? There is such a thing. Mr. Carson, are you making a mistake? Why don't I know about this? Chin Feng's surprised voice rang. Chin Feng's words made Carson stunned. Ah, didn't your majesty really know? That must be the private action of your first grade minister, I just. However, before Carson could finish speaking, Chin Feng interrupted, Mr. Carson, don't get me wrong. I don't know what I said. I don't know that the Philo Consortium has an agreement with the Emperor Kianyu. You said it yourself, that was 23 years ago, and I am only 18 years old this year. Carson was dumbfounded, but, but, we have an agreement. The Emperor Kianyu has signed it. Oh, where is the agreement? Did I sign it? Carson was stunned again. Protocol. Where is the agreement? Oh God. At first it was purely an oral agreement for private transactions, and there was no real contract in black and white. But we paid back 1 billion back then, and 30 million in dividends every year. Chin Feng said indifferently, Mr. Carson, with all due respect, now you can't come up with an agreement signed by the Emperor Changyu, so how do I know if what you said is true? In fact, my ministers are all suggesting that you are stealing. But I think that the relationship between our leading country and the Philo Consortium has always been relatively friendly, and the relationship with the Mockingbird country is also very friendly. I don't want to make things so stale. This gave you a seven-day deadline. As long as you leave in these seven days, then I will not blame the previous things. As for the one billion you have been repeating, Mr. Carson, and 30 million every year. Haha, <laughs> Mr. Carson, can an oil field with a storage capacity of about 100 billion barrels be purchased for a mere billion eagle yuan? And what is 30 million eagle dollars for your annual mining volume? Mr. Carson, I don't want the relationship between our chief executives and the Philo Consortium to be deadlocked, but the words like buying 100 billion oil fields for 1 billion yuan. It's better not to say any more, because I think you are insulting me. IQ. Quote. After speaking, he directly hung up the phone. As for what Carson would think, and how would he scold himself in his heart? Chin Feng wouldn't care. Preserving interests is the most important thing. It is self-evident that such a large oil field can bring many benefits to Da Qian. What if it's a rogue? Qin Feng disdainfully handed the phone to the person next to him, checked the time, and Shi Xiren went to have breakfast. Dot dot dot. Ningchang City, oil field. Listening to the busy tone on the phone, Carson flushed. He was angry and anxious. He never expected that a dignified emperor would do such a rogue thing. It's just a rascal who is a rascal, and I really can't refute others. The oil field was discovered by their Philo Consortium, but in order to conceal the public's attention and not be known by consortia or forces in other countries, they reached an oral agreement with the then Emperor Dagon as quickly as possible. At that time, the chief did not have the ability to mine, and urgently needed funds. More importantly, the situation of the chief was very critical at that time, so he gave the Philo Consortium the mining in the form of a low sale. What's more, there is still 10% of dividends every year, and it can be supported by the Philo Consortium internationally and militarily. The Emperor Kianyu agreed without thinking about it long. In addition, the situation in the four major mining areas is basically the same. After the situation of Dagon has improved, the agreement has been finalized, and the Emperor Kianyu is a shameful person. Not only did the emperor worry about the emperor, but both the predecessor and the last emperor inherited the character of the emperor Dagon who had always been, golden mouth and jade words, of being a face and not having money, and this led to such a situation. Now Qin Feng doesn't recognize it. He really has no good way. In fact, having said that, the Philo Consortium has made a lot of money on this oil field in the past 23 years. 
a first-class family, directly relying on this oil field to become a top consortium. Those who smoked are all the blood of Dagon to strengthen themselves, it is said that they should be content. However, greed is never satisfied. A similar situation occurred in four other mining areas. It's just that the heads of the other four consortia didn't call Chin Fang. Among the five resource areas, only one oil field is Ningchang, and the other four are ore. One coal mine, two copper mines, and one gold mine. The total amount of blood sucked over the years is probably a trillion. Just as the five major resources were underway, Chin Feng, who had eaten breakfast, was already preparing for a press conference an hour later. This press conference is no less important than yesterday's enthronement ceremony. Because this will be the first time he proclaimed his ideas to the great army in the world after he became the emperor of the great kingdom. And countries all over the world are also watching today's press conference. Perhaps the great power of the country is very weak, this is undeniable. However, as the world's fifth largest in terms of land area, the largest population in the world, and the superpower of the year, no one would ignore the first time that the emperor of a major country showed his thoughts on governing the country. Including those developed powers, as well as the only superpower Eagle State, are closely watching. 10 o'clock in the morning. It is still Dagon Hall. At this moment, there are more foreign reporters coming. Almost all of those sitting in the seats are reporters. There are countless cameras, cameras, and countless guards and staff to maintain public order and order. Finally, in the voice of, Welcome to Your Majesty Chin Feng, hosted on site, Chin Feng, who came first in a customized suit, fell into a dazzling flash. Behind him are Shangshu of the Ministry of Rights, Deputy Shangshu of the Ministry of Rights, Deputy Shangshu of the Ministry of Commerce, Foreign Ministers of the Ministry of Commerce, and Ministers of the Foreign Affairs Department of the Ministry of Rights. Chin Feng sits in the center, and the rest of the people find their own seats. In the flash, Chin Feng smiles gently, his eyes are calm and confident, and his gentle and magnetic voice is transmitted through the microphone on the table. Welcome all friends from the press, today's press conference, the main topic is, a hundred years plan, including the economic development of the next hundred years, the development of schools in the next hundred years, the development of industrial science and technology in the next hundred years, and the foundation of the next hundred years. Construction and development, the development of foreign affairs in the next hundred years, the development of medical care in the next hundred years, the development of public security in the next hundred years, and the military development in the next hundred years. This is a press conference, not a reporter's Q&A, so there is not so much greeting and politeness, so I just step into the topic. As soon as Chin Feng came up, he directly threw out the, a hundred years plan, plan, which contains so many development plans, and they are still a century-old development plan. It can not help but feel refreshed when everyone hears it. Everyone is serious. Including those from various countries who actually watched the live broadcast, they listened carefully. I want to see what kind of ideas and shocks this ultra-young emperor who once served as a superpower will bring to the world. Qin Feng glanced down at the manuscript written by himself, raised his head, and said slowly, the economy of a country is the foundation of everything. Dagon's centennial economic development plan is based on the promotion of nationwide commerce, and vigorously encourages and supports willing people to enter the commercial field. The establishment, creation, and establishment of factories, enterprises, shops, logistics, etc., and vigorously develop in compliance with laws and regulations. At the same time, Dagon will set up several banks to provide people with deposits with interest, low interest loans and other services, mainly to support the smooth development of major factories, enterprises, shops, and logistics. In addition, the Department of Foreign Affairs of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs will start foreign trade at the same time, and will also completely lift restrictions on foreign companies. Enterprises from all countries are welcome to invest, open factories, and start businesses. Quote. After a pause, he continued, the next five years will be a period of rapid development, whether it is from the economy, people's livelihood, military, and infrastructure. It is too early to say that a century is too early. This century development plan will be divided into small plans and small goals one after another. So set a small goal first. 
In the next five years, big countries will have enterprises, factories, and shops in all walks of life. In the next five years, all major cities will build highways. In the next five years, Dagan's communications and networks will be spread across all cities. In the next five years, public security will be fully controlled, and all crimes will be the target of severe attacks. In the next five years, every city and town will have enough schools. In the next five years, every city and town will have enough medical care. In the next five years, industry and science and technology will be the top priorities of all major tasks. In the next five years, annual military expenditure will account for at least 10% of fiscal revenue. The next five years, Qin Feng's small but shocking voice resounded throughout the hall. With so much content, of course it is impossible for Qin Feng to say it alone. He only needs to say the main development content, and then other ministers will make detailed supplements. Supplement how the Dagon court will vigorously support and develop vigorously. Although it is only a generalization, the generalizations of the development in the next five years seem to be even more shocking. Everyone on the scene and everyone who watched the live broadcast heard the ambitions and ambitions of this overly young emperor from these plans for the next five years. Economy, people's livelihood, industry, science and technology, military, these developments are all round and fully covered, and from this moment on, all people in the world who are following the press conference will no longer dare to say anything to this overly young emperor. Slightly contempt. It is undeniable that when Qin Feng was only 18 years old when he became the emperor yesterday, countless people all over the world laughed at him. How can an 18-year-old emperor just enter university in other countries? How can he lead a country well? Even many countries are already preparing, ready to see when the already precarious leader will fall apart under the leadership of this hairy boy, and then they will enter it for the first time and grab the first piece of cake. Because no one has the slightest confidence in an 18-year-old youth to rule a country with an area of 18.66 million square kilometers and a population of 3.3 billion. Even many people in China have this idea. It's not too young. So young that no one can generate the slightest confidence. However, now, the first press conference after he was enthroned, and the first time he proclaimed his concept of governing the country to the world, but it came so fiercely. The individual development plans appear to be so methodical, and people can't find the slightest fault. Some people can see deeper things. Just ascended the throne yesterday. Today, we can come up with such an impeccable development plan. What does it mean? It not only shows the 18-year-old emperor's boldness, vision, and foresight, but also shows his powerful abilities. Just as soon as he became the throne, he was able to reject all opinions, so that all the ministers in the big cadres agreed with these plans without any doubts, and the methods were by no means ordinary. No one dares to underestimate Qin Feng's age anymore. All of this shows that he absolutely possesses the super ability to serve as the emperor of a country. Then, the Blue Star, North Oceania, the only superpower Eagle country is located here. The Eagle Nation is not only the world's only superpower, but also the world's largest country in terms of territorial area. A country occupies an entire continent. Perhaps only its population of only 700 million and less than 800 million is not very international. The top number of the row. But it is undeniable that apart from population, the Eagle Nation has reached the world's first level in all aspects, including industry, technology, economy, and military. At this time, Buying City, the capital of the Eagle Country, is in the Eagle Head Palace. The Eagle Head Palace is the place where the Lord lives and works, just like the Imperial Palace of the Great Kingdom. And the Eagle Nation has no emperor, only the Lord, meaning the Lord of a country, the name is the Lord of the country. And this country's Lord is different from the Dagon Emperor. The Dagon Emperor can continue to serve, but the Lord will be selected every four years, and the people of the Eagle Nation will vote to choose. The current Lord of the Eagle Nation is the 74th Lord of the Eagle Nation. His name is Benedict Prado. Before he became the Lord, he was a capitalist. Since he is a capitalist, he immediately saw a lot of business opportunities from this press conference of Dagon. Working hard, turning poor into poor, turning weak into weak, does not mean that there will be no business opportunities. And there are plenty of business opportunities. At the beginning of Qin Feng's accession to the throne, 
Although Da Qian was not in a closed state, he was also in a semi-closed state. They simply don't agree with companies from other countries to invest heavily. But now it's different. Dagan will fully open up business investment, and this business opportunity is here. So poor, where are the business opportunities? Of course it is Dagan's extremely rich resources. Human resources are also resources. In an instant, Benedict made up his mind. Nothing else, just to do a lot of cheap labor, it's all worth doing. Therefore, he immediately told his assistants, I will let people generate electricity immediately, congratulate Dagon's 26th emperor Qin Feng ascended the throne in written form, and specially invite him to come to Dagon for a state visit. After the press conference is over, I will call Dagon Palace immediately, and I will congratulate myself. Quote. The assistant immediately replied, Okay, Mr. Lord, I will make arrangements right away. When the assistant left, Benedict touched his chin, and then suddenly ordered another assistant, go and bring me all the information about the major country. Remember everything, including the major country, the specific domestic situation, even their mineral resources, human resources, military, etc., everything. Yes, this scene happened in many countries. There is no country that dismisses it because it is so weak. No matter how weak, there are millions of active fighters. No matter how weak it is, the country has an area of 18.66 million square kilometers. No matter how small, there are 3.3 billion people. This 3.3 billion population is just one person and one mouthful. I am afraid that many countries will be terrified. Zuyu village is one of all impoverished villages in the Dagon country. But after all, it is modern, no matter how poor, there is still a TV in a village. At this time, almost all the people in the village gathered in front of the TV, watching the live content on the TV with all their attention. The content, of course, is the press conference. Since the press conference, everyone hasn't said a word anymore. Everyone watched the young emperor talking on the TV with eyesight. The magnetic voice was so nice, and the huge future revealed in the words, it made everyone's hearts full of excitement. Your majesty is very young and handsome, and his first impression may not be so trustworthy. But, the future depicted, the future in just five years, is so yearning and so exciting. Suddenly, a young man stood up abruptly, looked at his father and mother, his eyes were full of determination, and his tone was very firm and loudly, Dad, Mom, I've decided. The voice was very loud, and everyone around was watching TV seriously. The young man's voice suddenly frightened everyone. The young man's mother said with a loud voice, What are you howling? What are you howling? Have you decided what? It scared me. I've decided, I'm going to the city, I'm going to do business in the city. The young man's words made everyone who had been startled startled, and looked at him in a daze. The young man's mother was also taken aback for a while, then rolled her eyes and said, Business. You. Second baby, you thought of doing business after studying for a few days. Is business so easy to do? We people, he was born to work in the fields, don't think of making a fortune. The eight big aunts and three big aunts in the village also laughed and agreed, thinking that doing business is a matter of scholars. Your second child doesn't know how to calculate it. If you are deceived, you don't know how to do business. The young man named Erwa remained unmoved. He looked at the young emperor who had stopped talking on TV in admiration with his eyes. His tone became more determined and said, Your majesty said it, encourage us to do everything we are willing to do business. Since your majesty did not say that people who have never read cannot do business well, then I can definitely do business. I believe your majesty's words, I'm still young, I don't want to spend my whole life in the fields and just wander around. Quote. The second baby's mother and the aunts obviously disagree, and they don't think that the second baby who has not read a few days can make a name for himself. It's a good thing not to be cheated of money to go, what else is there to do business? But at this moment, the village chief who had not spoken all of a sudden said, I support your second baby in doing business. Young people just want to go out and do more. Who said that you can't do business without reading? If you don't know how to do the math, just go to school. It's good to go outside to meet the world. It's better than staying in our village for a lifetime. Quote. Speaking of this, the village head also looked at the young figure on the TV, and there was a vague admiration in the old eyes. 
Besides, as the people of the great cadres, your majesty is doing this for our people and for the consideration of our country. Also actively respond to your majesty's call. I support Urwazi to do business outside. Not only Urwazi, as long as the young people in our village want to go outside, I support it. Moreover, going outside is more than just doing business. Didn't your majesty say that when shops across the country will be open, there will be a lot of labor demand? If you can't do business, you can also go to work. It's better. Quote. With the words of the village chief, the eyes of the second child and the young people in the village brightened up instantly. But not only young people, but even some middle-aged men are tempted. After all, human beings are animals with pursuits. Since there are better pursuits and better hopes, no one does not want to pursue better. The second child's mother said with a bitter face, Your Majesty's call, of course, I also support it. In fact, I don't want to let the second child go out. But doing business requires money. Where is there so much money in our family for him to go? Do business. The village chief smiled, and the second child laughed, and said with excitement, Mom, don't worry about this. Didn't your majesty just say it? We will work hard. We will open a few more banks and then provide us with loans. As long as I get the loan, I have the money to do business. Mom, just let me go out for a break. I really don't want to live in this mountain caca for a lifetime. Quote. Seeing the expectation in her son's eyes, the second child's mother finally relented. Okay, okay, you will grow up too, and you can make your own decisions about your own life. When that happens, you can come back again, and farming with peace of mind will never die of starvation. The second baby nodded his head heavily, and couldn't help but look at the TV again, condensed on the young figure. The self-confidence on your majesty's handsome and handsome face seemed to give him the greatest encouragement, and he secretly swore that he must make a name for himself. For myself, for my parents, to support my village chief, and for your majesty. This scene in Zuyu village took place all over the country. At this moment, the people of the entire major country, especially the young people, responded to the call of the majesty who set up the great 100-year development plan and the grand 5-year plan. Some people came out from the mountains and prepared to do business on their own. Some are more timid and plan to see if there is a place to recruit workers. In short, many people have made decisions that affect their lives at this moment. And although many, many people are planning to leave their hometowns and leave the fields, no one is worried about whether they will affect the harvest of food after they leave. Because your majesty said it. Soon, Dagan will introduce a high-yield rice to cultivate for the people all over the country. At that time, one acre of land, the grain that can be planted may only be planted on two acres or even three acres of land before. This greatly relieves and frees up the labor force, so no one is worried that their departure will affect the grain. With the, hybrid rice, that your majesty said, it's enough for others in the family to plant it. At the same time, Qin Feng, who just concluded the press conference, received congratulatory messages from many countries. At the same time, there are also large-scale reports on TV and the news media on the internet. The country's lord reporting that a certain country sent a congratulatory message to congratulate Dagon Emperor Qin Feng on his ascension to the throne. Maybe this is nothing in the eyes of ordinary people, but in Qin Feng's eyes, this is the big opportunity he has been waiting for, and the big opportunity for Dagon to completely rejuvenate. At the same time, a call from Benedict, the lord of the Eagle Nation, also happened to be calling. Customers and friends are indispensable for a person to do a business. The same is true for countries. If a country wants to develop its economy, then diplomacy must be indispensable. The reason why this is the big opportunity that Qin Feng is waiting for comes from these congratulatory messages. In the eyes of ordinary people, this press conference is a grand five-year plan and a century-old ambition. But another deep meaning is not something ordinary people can capture. Through this press conference, Qin Feng took the initiative to send a signal to the world. Work hard, no longer shut down and lock the country, and will be ready to completely integrate with the world. This is telling the world that Dagon is ready to develop the economy on a large scale, and those who want to cooperate and make money are coming quickly. Dagon has rich resources, cheap human resources, and a huge market of 3.3 billion people. Come on! 
Obviously, the signal released this time was received by many countries, and it really aroused great interest in many countries. Even the Eagle Nation, the only superpower of the Blue Star, sent congratulatory messages at the first time, and even invited Qin Feng to pay a state visit to the Eagle Nation. It can be seen that the great efforts after the complete opening up have a positive effect on these countries. What an attraction. Not to mention other. Just talk about this manpower. The 3.3 billion population is definitely a huge number, and the most important thing is that labor costs are still very low, at least for those developed countries, the labor costs of major countries are very, very low. Take a very typical real event as a metaphor. A cadre from the Eagle country once went to a certain factory to apply for a cleaner, and he applied for it. Then at the end of the year, the annual salary was published. The basic salary was as high as 27,500 eagle yuan, and the overtime pay was 10,300 eagle yuan. The total salary for a year is as high as 37,900. From this we can see how expensive the labor costs are in the eagle country. However, what if the factory is open to a major country? Even if the salary is raised according to the current per capita income of Dagon, 2,000 yuan a year is enough, right? 3,000 is no problem. Even if it is 3,000 a year's salary, it still can't compare with a fraction of the salary of Eagle Country. And how much extra income will these saved wages bring to that enterprise factory? With this alone, there is no reason for rejection. Hello, Lord Benedict, I have kept you waiting. In the conference room, Chin Feng, who had just arrived, was holding the black landline phone on the table and talking with Benedict with a smile. The purpose of the black and red landline phones is different. They are all confidential calls, except that the red phones have a higher level of confidentiality and are generally classified as internal top secret calls. And this phone is not used in normal times, and once this phone is used, it must be a major incident that affects the national security of Dagon. Just like Qin Feng issued a certain order to the army before using this phone. On the other side of the phone, Benedict's laughter came. Hello, Emperor Qin Feng, I would like to congratulate you on your enthronement on behalf of the Eagle Nation, and hope that it hasn't disturbed you. The two are talking on the phone, but there will be a dedicated person nearby to record all the recordings of the conversation between the two. It's not because of anything else. One is that we can continue to analyze whether there is more information in the other party's words, and the other is that it can be recorded in the annals of history. Hee <laughs> hee, of course I didn't bother. I am very happy to hear your call from Lord Benedict, and thank you for your congratulations. Qin Feng still smiled and greeted. Benedict laughed and said, it's fine if you don't bother you. This time I'm calling. The first is to congratulate Emperor Qin Feng on your enthronement, and the second is to invite Emperor Qin Feng to you if you have time. Eagle Country makes a state visit. I believe that there will be many areas for cooperation and negotiation between our two countries. This is of great benefit to the development of our two countries. What do you say about Emperor Qin Feng? Quote. Qin Feng also laughed. Of course, our two countries can cooperate in many aspects. I also welcome entrepreneurs and capitalists from your country to come to me for investment and cooperation. And I am very honored to receive your invitation from Lord Benedict. I will ask my assistant to send the time of the specific state visit to your country in the follow-up. At the same time, I am very much looking forward to the day of the state visit. We must there will be many places to negotiate. Quote. Okay, Emperor Qin Feng, then it's settled, I will wait for Emperor Qin Feng to arrive. Okay. The two ended the call. Qin Feng did not immediately invite Benedict to come for a state visit. This is a process. Since the other party invited you first, then after you have gone on a state visit, if the negotiation is very pleasant, then you can invite the other party to do a big state visit later. After that, they were followed by congratulatory messages from the leaders of other countries, all actively inviting Qin Feng to go to their country for a state visit, and no one revealed that they came first. This is normal, because now the major cadres have not had formal diplomatic relations with any country in the world. So they must be invited to Qin Feng first to confirm the formal diplomatic relations, and then Qin Feng invites them. The phone calls from these country leaders alone lasted for several hours. I didn't even care about the meal, so I made a direct call and kept chatting there. 
Finally, after answering all the phone calls, I had a meal at 3 o'clock in the afternoon with peace of mind. After the meal, the visit itinerary made by the secretary came out. The first one went to the Eagle Country, which was half a month later. Then every few days I will fly to a country to visit, and the time schedule is full. At 4 o'clock in the afternoon, Chin Feng, who had not rested for a few minutes, went to the side hall of the Yijiang Hall, because the Shangshu and the servants of the Ministry of Industry had already arrived. The main hall is divided into the main hall and the partial hall. The main hall is the place where the emperor discusses with all the ministers, and the partial hall is the place where the emperor meets with some people alone. Although the general development planning decree has been issued, it does not mean that Qin Feng will really do it once and for all. Everything can be explained to the people below. Nowadays, the development of Dagon can't take any detours, nor can there be any slack. He must clearly let these ministers know his requirements, so that the ministers can implement them more smoothly. When Qin Feng arrived, the two first rank ministers, Shangshu Ji Yu Jiwan of the Ministry of Industry and Shui Xinjuang, Shangshu of the Ministry of Finance, as well as the second rank servants under their command, had already arrived. If the busiest is the busiest, I am afraid Shui Xinjuang would be the one. Because no matter what kind of development it is, it is inseparable from the god of wealth. Today's meeting topic, he, of course, also got an estimated budget from the Ministry of Finance. His Majesty. As soon as Qin Feng came in, everyone stood up and shouted respectfully. Sit down, I won't say any polite remarks. Today, I will mainly talk about the detailed plan for the future of our major country's communication network. Before sitting down, Qin Feng spoke directly. In the internet age, since it is called a network, I believe that everyone understands the importance of communication networks. Qin Feng said, looking at the networks of our major cadres, we will not talk about the poor rural areas. They are the capitals of our major cadres, and they have not implemented full network coverage. There are no networks in many places, and there is no 2G. Not to mention the current global mainstream 4G network. So my request is very simple. Your Ministry of Industry will immediately set up three communications companies to form a good competitive relationship with banks. At the same time, I ask you to ensure that all major cities in Dagon have full coverage of 4G networks, full coverage of mobile phone signals, and broadband access in the next year. At the same time, the establishment of all private communication companies is prohibited. Communication companies, like banks, must exist in a state-owned form. This is a one-year plan. After the one-year plan is completed, the five-year plan must be completed. Within five years, the towns and villages within the country must have networks and signals. I know the task is very heavy, but your Ministry of Industry has to work hard to overcome it. Quote. After finishing speaking, I looked at Shui Xinjuang, the Shangshu of the Ministry of Finance, and asked, has your Ministry of Finance calculated the communication budget for the next year? Before this meeting, someone had notified the Ministry of Finance and asked the Ministry of Finance to calculate the specific expenses. Shui Xinjuang glanced at the documents on the table, and immediately replied, according to our Ministry of Finance's estimation, the cost of communication laying in the next year will be about 11.3 billion kianyuan, including the laying of communication signal towers and mobile expenses for the laying of network base stations and home broadband lines. 11.1 billion kianyuan, including all major cities of 18.66 million square kilometers of the entire Dagon country. Perhaps this 11.3 billion kianyuan seems to be very few. But don't forget the purchasing power of Qianyuan. Qianyuan's purchasing power is very powerful. If you calculate it, one Qianyuan's purchasing power is equivalent to the purchasing power of the Earth's Yanwang Empire 10 yuan. The face value of Qianyuan is 100 yuan, 50 yuan, 20 yuan, 10 yuan, 5 yuan, 1 yuan, 10 points, and 1 point. That's right, Da Qian's Qianyuan doesn't have the denomination a corner, and the value of points is still in use. It's like a bun can be bought with only 15 dry minutes. Calculated in this way, the purchasing power of 11.3 billion Qianyuan is equivalent to 113 billion Earth Yanwang Empire, which is not so cheap. After listening to this, Qin Feng couldn't help frowning, 11.3 billion Qianyuan. Why is the cost so high? 
Now the entire treasury of the entire chief executive is only 200 billion kianyuan. Yes, it is a lot, but the wages of so many ministers and the wages of tens of millions of soldiers have to be paid. In addition, the maintenance costs of various public facilities are also a lot of money. For example, power stations and hydropower stations must be maintained in place, otherwise power and water outages will be more frequent. Then the roads, the various budgetary expenditures of the minister's office affairs, the production, purchase and maintenance of military equipment, the production, purchase and maintenance of fast-track equipment, etc., etc. 11.3 billion is really not a small amount of money for today's big work. Shui Zinjuang truthfully replied, Your Majesty, there is nothing we can do. Those signal towers, network base stations, and even fiber optic cables, we can't produce them, we need to spend money to go to those foreign manufacturers that can produce them. Purchased. The cost that those manufacturers sell to us will definitely not be cheap, it is much higher than the cost price, so the cost is so high. Suddenly, Qin Feng waved his big hand and said, then make it all by yourself. The Ministry of Industry will also recruit talents in this area. At the same time, it also announced to the general public that the network optical fiber will bid for all the leaders. I believe that at that time, there will be merchants who will find ways to recruit people to produce optical fibers. Qin Feng never doubted the abilities of those businessmen. As long as the benefits are sufficient, those businessmen will definitely find ways to make optical fibers. No talent. Spend money to hire people abroad. I beg my father to sue my grandmother and use conspiracy and trickery to get the technology to produce optical fiber. This is absolute. Merchants are so powerful sometimes. And the reason why the network fiber is going to bid, instead of directly redeeming the technology from the system to make it. That's because you can't exchange all technologies from the system, and you can't build everything yourself. If that is the case, let's not say how many more points will be consumed. The fact that there will be no further progress in private industry and technology is unacceptable to Qin Feng. Of course, things with higher technical content like signal towers and network-based stations must still be exchanged from the system. Fortunately, Qin Feng has seen these things, the price is not high, and only need 200,000 points in total. Well, the domestic telecommunications business has been settled in this way, and I will do my best to do it in accordance with my requirements. Qin Feng set the tone, there is also the issue of domestic roads. Although I have repeated it many times, this road must be more important. As the saying goes, if you want to get rich, you must first build roads. If you want to get rich, you can't get rich. Except for the highways between major cities, the roads in villages and towns can be replaced with dirt roads and gravel roads first. The minimum requirement is to be able to open to traffic. When we are rich in the future, we will slowly upgrade this road. Quote. The Ministry of Industry Shangshu Jiu Jiwan immediately wrote down Qin Feng's speech in a notebook, while Shui Xinjuang couldn't help but smile. This road construction is another large sum of money, and it is more than the money needed to lay the network and signals. There is no need to ask, Qin Feng knows what the bitter smile on Shui Xinjuang's face means. But he doesn't have any particularly good solutions right now. Everything is in its infancy at the moment, and he has to take it step by step. Afterwards, they discussed the opening of banks and recruiting talents. The progress was pretty good, and they were all being dealt with urgently. At present, the Ministry of Finance has decided to open three banks, which may increase in the future, but there are three in the early stage. Of course, there are four Dagon banks, but the future development focus of Dagon Bank will not focus on some domestic businesses, but some international businesses. These are all negotiated before. The three new banks to be opened are Dagon Fundamental Bank, Dagon Capital Bank, and Dagon Gandu Bank. These three banks have different names, and their specific businesses are actually related. Maybe their respective focuses will be a little different, but each one is actually the same. Opening three banks is the same as opening three communications companies. Again, there is no progress without competition. If the family is dominant, it will definitely breed arrogance, pride, and perfunctory situations, and will not consider the interests of the people at all. Only when a number of companies have formed a competitive relationship, will they earnestly think of all means to make progress, from service, profit, and progress in all aspects.
The Ministry of Industry's recruitment of talents is also progressing smoothly, and domestic scholars are in contact. At the same time, some of the staff of the Ministry of Industry have gone to various countries to contact the people of the great cadres outside. Everything is developing at a high speed in the predetermined direction. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and support my channel.